Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Indie Google, and today I will be co covering a couple of different things, actually. Um, we'll be fixing the health bars and laughs. Uh, you may not see a problem with it, but I know of one. We'll be adding in backgrounds and a camera to follow the player when he starts moving across a huge level. So, let's get started by creating a new object here and um, we'll just use the ground sprout and name it something like obj underscore next level now go to the player and add in a new collision event with that object and we'll add in the code here uh, okay that's the only piece of code that you need to go to the next level and while we're in the player um, in the left event here, I noticed that it wasn't animated. You may have already fixed this, but if you haven't, just change this 0 to 0 0.5. Okay. Now, let's go to the rooms. And expand it a little bit. Let's try 1200. Alright. Now, add on to it here. Okay, now we need to add in a blocker for the enemies. Now remember to uncheck delete underlying and put one here and here. And let's add in a uh, object next level and put it here. Okay, now we'll go to views and click enable the use of views and visible when room starts. Now you notice a border came up. That's our view there. We won't mess with any of these other settings right now, but uh, we will go down to this part right here. Object following. Let's set that to uh, the player. And this HBOR and VBOR. That determines how close to the edge of the screen you have to be before the camera starts following the player. Now, right now, this 32 by 32, that's going to make it... Um, have, it will make you have to go to the very edge of the screen before it starts following. We want it to start following as soon as you get to about the middle of the screen. So let's use 275 by 275. Okay. Now let's add in a background. And I'll just use clouds. And uh, go to the backgrounds tab here. And we'll you, uh, go down to here and click background one. Okay, now I know it's transparent and it looks really bad because it's clouds on a gray background. I knew it was transparent and I wanted to use this to cover two features in one. So go to this color here and click that and select uh, kind of a cartoony sky looking color. Maybe that. That'll work. So. What just happened is we add in a background, which is a bunch of clouds on a tra transparent background, which means we can add in a color here for the sky. So if you don't have a background you want to use, you can just use color to set it to a completely uh, plain color. But backgrounds, you can add in uh, pretty much anything. We can even use this metal dark here and just change it to that. So let's use the clouds for this one. Now let's create a new room. And uh, set the grid to 32 by 32. And just create a basic room here. Add in the player, the object text, and a background. Okay, so. Now that we have views, that means that this object text, it draws the health bar and the lives, but it draws it to the, uh, the position of this object, and the object doesn't follow uh, when the camera starts moving across the room. 
So this is going to stay in the exact same position when the player and the camera is moving around the room, meaning you won't be able to see your health or lives once you move away from this position here. So what we want to do is open up the uh, text here. But first, let's just completely delete object lives. We don't even need it. So go here and go to the draw. Now we can completely delete instance create too. Now we'll just modify this draw health bar. This x plus zero and y plus zero. We want to draw it to a different position. So we'll use view underscore x view and view underscore uh, y view. Okay, so that's going to draw it to wherever the view is looking at to these um, very top left corner. So now we need to modify this x plus 100 by y plus 16. We'll use uh, view underscore x view plus 100 and view underscore y view plus 16. All right, now we need our lives. So we'll just uh, tap this in. Alright, so this draw sprite command, all it does is it draws a sprite and the sub image that you choose to the specified location. In this case, it's going to be the very top left corner and um, 16 pixels down. Alright, and the reason we have global.lives minus one, I explained this in the other tutorial. Um, Basically, this is just the sub image. We want it to be uh, synchronized with your uh, global.lives variable. And we have to have this minus one or it won't work right. Okay, so let's just go ahead and test our game now. Alright and it follows and it even works let's find an enemy here and get damaged and killed so there you go you can see that it works and it follows with the player we have a background and an object to carry us to the next room if you don't want this to be visible you can uncheck it to be invisible but uh, this will be fine for the tutorial. Alright, and we're in the next room. So, that about does it for this tutorial. And remember, please comment, rate, subscribe. And if you have any suggestions of what you would want to see next, let me know, and I'll try getting them out as quickly as possible.